Hello, it's John Heaton, and today I'm going to move away from my lists, which I've been doing recently, and show you my collection of seven inch picture sleeves from George Harrison and Ringo Starr. Um, I've showed a few in various videos over the years, but never together, so, and I couldn't do all four solo Beatles at once because there's too many. So I'll do John and Paul maybe in a later video. I'll start off with Ringo and George, and I'll start off and I'll go in chronological order. We'll start off, well, I'll do Ringo first, then George. So starting off with Ringo, his first single from 1971 uh, came in a nice picture sleeve. Uh, Don't Come Easy, backed with early 1970. And um, it actually outsold Another Day in Power to the People, which for, were from um, Paul and John around the same time. And it sold better than Bangladesh, which came out later in the same year. So surprised a lot of people. Got to number two, I think it was, in the UK. I'm not sure about the US. Similar, top five, I think. Um, and came on the Apple label. I'm not going to show you all of the labels, but uh, that's the first one. The second one, nice picture sleeve as well. Again, back off Boogaloo, backed with Blind Men. And I'm going to show you the label of this because it's of particular interest. It's the only blue apple out there with the sliced blue apple on the b-side um, we did have a red apple the beatles let it be album in the us was on red apple and ringo's blast from your past was also on red apple the compilation from 75. Um, then we've got oh this isn't in quite chronological order sorry we're going back a bit to bow coops of blues which came on the apple label it's rather annoying when the uh, European and US singles have the, the middle missing. Uh, prefer the UK Apple with, uh, with where you can see the full Apple. I feel a bit cheated when I get a single like this, but anyway. Um, it's got a rare B-side, Coochie Coochie, which was not on the album. It was finally released on the Bo Coops of Blues CD. Um, got photograph showing the, the picture sleeve is the label picture from the Ringo album. Um, again, on Apple. Oh, no, no, on the same label on the, on the record, I believe. Oh, my, my, European edition. And what I like about the European editions is they, on the B-side, they advertise product from the other Beatles. So you've got Bound on the Run, Mind Games, and Ringo album being advertised there. So that's a nice touch. Um, of course, it was only up until 1975 that they were on the same label. After that, George went on to Dark Horse, um, Warner Brothers. Uh, Ringo, another copy of the Oh My My single. This is a French copy uh, with the same inner. Then we've got Only You uh, with the same uh, Milky Way label. Um, as the album, or at least the UK version of the album. I have found the Goodnight Vienna, the album on Apple, a Greek copy. I'm not sure which other countries featured the, the Apple label. Uh, Goodnight Vienna, this is a French copy with an interesting picture sleeve. Uh, again, what's the label here? Yeah, it's the Apple with the, with the middle missing rather annoyingly. Uh, hey Baby, he's moved off Apple here. He's on to Polydor. And um, so Ringo had also moved off EMI, forgot to mention, and this is on the Polydor label, but it's a nice picture sleeve. I picked this up quite recently, actually, in uh, Reckless Records in Berwick Street, London. Now, Drowning in the Sea of Love, advertising his two most recent albums. I mean, you, you would struggle to find a more miserable picture of Ringo uh, at the height of his drunken, wasted years. Or he would refer to these years as wasted later. In fact, he would say he couldn't remember mo many of them. Uh, single didn't do anything, but it's nice to have the picture sleeve. Um, Rack My Brain hardly did anything in the charts, but again, nice to have the picture sleeve from 1981, a track written by George. And then lastly, from Ringo, we have Way to the World from the superb Time Takes Time album, which deserved to get be a hit. And the album deserved to be a hit, but it didn't, and it was, but it wasn't. So I can't really explain that. Um, lastly, going to show you Oh My Mind because this is the last. It's not the picture sleeve, but this is the last, second to last single released on the Apple label. 
um, the original run of Apple, that is, before, uh, before um, I mean, the Free as a Bird single in the recent box set, for example, is on Apple, but I'm, I'm discounting that. So, Oh My My is the second to last Apple single from the original run, which went up, that was January 76, and I'll show you the, the last one in a minute. So moving on to George Harrison. So this My Sweet Lord, I, I don't suppose it is particularly hard to find, but I've always found, I've always seen this record on, in a plain black sleeve in shops and very delighted to see, this is actually my son's copy, I don't have a copy, but it's very good to see this in a picture sleeve. Um, it was reissued, and this is a UK copy, so you can see the lovely full green apple here. Um, I'm assuming the picture sleeve was the same in the US. You guys tell me if it wasn't or whatever. Uh, give me love. This is a, I think this is a French or a German. No, I can't really tell where it's from, to be honest. It, but it's, it, it's on the US capital label, so it could be a US edition. Um, it's not a particularly good picture sleeve, is it? Some of these picture sleeve from George is not very good. Um, Sorry, I can't tell, tell you which country that's from. I'm assuming US, actually. Uh, then Ding Dong Ding Dong picked this up quite recently. Uh, nice to have. Um, nice picture on the front. And then this is an uninspired picture sleeve, or if you can call it that, with just the lyrics of Dark Horse, uh, which I thought I'd show you, but it's nothing much. And then the picture sleeve of you with the inner sleeve of the Extra Texture album on the same Extra Texture label. And then this is the one I was referring to earlier, and I just picked this up recently. I was pretty excited. I ordered this on uh, Discogs. Didn't pay too much for it. Um, it's this guitar, the last Apple single released, February 1976, and uh, in a nice picture sleeve. It's it's a German edition, so you've got some other Solo Beetle product advertised on the back. Rock and Roll, Ball on the Run, Good Night Vienna. And it's on the Apple label, but rather disappointingly, it's on the... Apple label with the middle missing. I was hoping to get hold of a UK, I'm still hoping to get hold of a UK copy with the full Apple, because it does make a difference for us collectors. Although it's nice to have the picture sleeve, having said that. This is a picture sleeve of this song. A German edition, um, backed with Learning How to Love You, and a thoroughly uninspired picture sleeve of this song with the lyrics on it. Nothing to write home about there. Very happy to pick up this, Blow Away came out in this picture sleeve in the US and this picture sleeve in the UK. So interesting that one chose the front cover and one chose the back cover. I think they're both brilliant. I probably prefer this because it was the back cover, hadn't been promoted as much, but uh, delighted to have both. First rate single, did quite well in the US, top 20, but not too well in the UK, I think for some un unknown reason, didn't even make the top 40. This is quite rare, picture sleeve disc of Faster. And uh, it's got the lyrics, same inner sleeve from the album, and it's got the, it's in memory of um, Ronnie Peterson, and it's got all these racing cars here. It's not a particularly interesting picture sleeve, but it's a great song from my favorite George Harrison album, so I'm very happy to have it all those years ago. It was a monster hit, uh, number two in the US, uh, top 20 in the UK, uh, return to form chart-wise, and a joyous, well, that's the wrong word, uh, an upbeat tribute to John Lennon. Um, some say inappropriately upbeat, but I think, I think that's garbage. It's just uh, it's a happy tune. He originally wrote it for Ringo to sing and then changed the words when John passed. So uh, I think it's, of all the John Lennon tributes, I think it's one of the best. I think it's heartfelt, and uh, I won't hear any criticism of it from anyone, really. I, I, I think it's a really solid emotional tribute. And then we've got teardrops from the same album, Summer in England, very interesting picture sleeve. Didn't do anything chart-wise, but nice to have. And then we've got the When We Was Fab box set, um, which is interesting mainly for the, the goodies that you get with it. So you get the seven inch single and you get this Sergeant Pepper cutout and then you get this, this poster, which is nice. Um, and then I've got 
the Wilburys single with a free page of stickers. Then I've got some 12 inches to show you. This George Harrison single came with a poster, which is similar to the front cover I'm not going to show you. And then when we was fab, this is interesting. I don't know if you can see it on the back, but it's signed by Ray Cooper. I met him outside the stage door of the Albert Hall, late 80s, luckily. And then this picture sleeve, well, it's a terrible picture sleeve really, isn't it? I don't know what George was thinking, putting out this as a picture sleeve. Not The single didn't do anything, but the contents are great. Cheer down and poor little girl. Brilliant. So that was my picture disc collection, seven inch and a few 12 inches from George Harrison, MBE, and Richard Starkey, MBE. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.